Good evening, VV Nation. My name is Ryan. Welcome to the channel. Tonight's presentation, I've got a good one for you. Now, this is an industry we've talked about on the channel, especially in the live streams a couple times, but I can't ignore it anymore. I had to do its own 6 p.m. video. Why? It's showing the most momentum in the top RT industries today. And when I went through the stocks, they didn't look bad. Some of them a little overstretched, but I can see why. As I dived into some of the news stories of these positions, they find themselves in the crosshairs of topics like AI data centers, quantum computing. So no wonder there's so much attention on these stocks. Now, the industry that I'm talking about, fiber optics. So tonight's presentation, we're going to take a look at the top five stocks in the fiber optic space. So if you would like exposure in your portfolio to global expansion, because remember, 95% of data worldwide is still using fiber optic cables. It's not all satellites quite yet. So if you want to take advantage of these five stocks to supercharge your portfolio, let's get started. Now, if you take a simple and logical approach, the world is changing. The data that we need and the data that we need transferred needs to change with it, right? Especially with the adoption of futuristic technology in the near future, such as quantum mechanics or the adoption of AI as we've seen over the last decade now. Now the stocks, we'll get to those in just a moment, but some of the stocks had some interesting stories. For one stock in the list, you could see in the second article here, Revolutionary Quantum Security Sienna and Ready Madrid launch first dual user fiber network for research. So quantum has entered the fiber optic space. Now as I take a look at the next article here, Lightpath, another stock in tonight's presentation. Their new fiber build capitalizes on Eastern Pennsylvania's emerging hyperscale data center ecosystem. Yes, so as all of these new data centers pop up all over the country and all over the world, that data is going to need to be connected and transferred, which brings a lot of opportunities to the stocks. I'm bringing to your attention tonight and a lot of profits to these stocks. The last stock I wanted to show you as far as news when it comes to these positions is Viavi Solutions. And look at the first article, CrowdStrike Partnership and Platform Expansion Shifting Its Growth Trajectory. So yes, these stocks are having huge partnerships with some of the hyperscalers and some of the other big names that we're very familiar with on this channel. So let's go ahead and jump in the Vector by 7 software and see exactly what opportunities I'm speaking of. All right, everybody, we're in the Vector by 7 software. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying tonight's content. Now, this is the homepage of the Vector S7 Soft where we can get a sense of the pulse of the market. Now, if we take a look here, right in the middle, we got the top RT industries. The top one, telecom fiber optics, hottest industry in the Vector S7 system. The stock's collectively up almost 4% today. So let's go ahead and jump in these positions. All right, the five stocks I have for you in the fiber optics industry telecommunication sector look at them all showing momentum to the upside today light path technologies barely in positive territory but the momentum is in this space now if you're new to the channel rv to rt these indicators are on a zero to two scale above one is favorable below one is unfavorable. The further you get away from one speaks to the magnitude of that favor. Now, if we take a look at the value of these stocks here, first looking at Sienna Corp, overvalued, currently trading at 171. We value the stock at $89. Lightpath, also overvalued. We only trade at $47. Not much value in the space at all. All of these positions are overvalued. Not necessarily a bad thing. It's just saying that investors are willing to pay a premium. And with the news articles that I was seeing with Quantum, AI, Core Weave, I'm not surprised that these stocks are trading at a premium right now. Fundamentally, with RV and RS, not the best fundamentally sound companies out here. The only one with favorable ratings in both categories is going to be Sienna Corp. So if you're looking for a more conservative or more prudent approach, Sienna Corp at the top of the list probably would be your position to get into. Now, RT relative timing, this is our technical indicator, looking at the short-term price trend of these positions it's just letting me know that these stocks are moving in a bullish manner and a lot of them are showing a lot of momentum behind that move here especially with rts at 1.97 1.99 these are pretty maxed out these stocks are showing parabolic moves right now 
we take a look, VST, overall value, safety, and timing, VST is all above one. So that's a good thing to see for this industry here. Now, as far as our recommendations, two out of the five currently have buy recommendations. Three out of the five have hold recommendations. Now, if we take a look at the forecasted data, pretty mixed bag here, but Sienna Corp double digits, 29% on the sales growth rate, 19% on the earnings growth rate. Lightpath sales growth, 41%, earnings negative 5%, Viavi 15 and 23%. So these two right here, definitely gonna be the leader of the packs when it comes to forecasted data. Optical cable, sales growth rate, again, not bad. It's just the earnings growth rate coming at negative 5%. Clearfield though, positive in both categories, 2% on the sales growth growth rate side, 31% on the earnings growth rate side. So let's go ahead and jump in the charts and see if there's any potential when it comes to these positions. First one on the list, Sienna Corp. This is exactly what you want to see. Lower left, upper right in the price action, strong buy ratings as of recently. All the forecasted data, even the EPS, this is the leading 12 month forecast here. Nice lower left, upper right, moving in the right direction. Strong stock here with Sienna Corp. As well, if we take a look, Light Path Technologies. I do notice one thing, value down below this green line, not moving at all. Pretty concerned about that. Otherwise, the forecasted data, not nearly as nice as the other one here. 41% sales growth rate moving in the right direction, but forecasted earnings per share is faltering and growth rate in earnings is moving in the right direction, but still at negative 5%. But with momentum to the upside and a hot story having to do with AI data centers, this stock might not just be over. Here's Via Viavi Solutions. Price action, nice steady move to the upside, hitting a six month high as of today. Nice body on the candlestick too. And look at the valuation. It is trading at a premium, but value also moving up. That's exactly what I'd like to see. And the forecasted data down below, earnings per share, sales growth rate, earnings growth rate, all moving in the right direction. And phenomenal numbers, 15% on sales, 23% on the earnings growth rate. I like to see those kind of numbers. Optical cable, a little bit more volatile, but still moving in the right direction. And if we use a freehand line, we see price action moving in an ascending channel here with momentum to the upside right now. And about midway through the channel, I'd look for resistance at the top of the channel. Price action keeps moving to the upside. But you can see the momentum is there with the bulls right now. And the forecasted data all moving in the right direction. Even though growth rate and earnings is still negative 5%, I like how it is moving in the right direction. Even the earnings per share, almost a turnaround story. Negative forecasted earnings per share. But now coming in at just negative 25 cents. So it could go positive here in the near future. Next stock here is going to be Clearfield Inc. You can see a little bit of a sell off here. Resistance coming into play around $39.57 to about 41 to about $40.21, a little bit of a zone here, but a nice steady eddy rise to the upside. You can see the stock overvalued currently, but here's a turnaround story in the earnings per share was negative, but now is positive. Sales growth rate coming in at 2%, it did falter quite a bit. So I'd like to see that sales growth rate tick back up, but the earnings growth rate coming in strong at 31%. I do like this position, but not only this one, some of these other stocks here showing some opportunities, not necessarily saying jumping in these positions today, but some of them are showing opportunities and phenomenal forecasted data with hot stories in this hot industry. Now, I hope you enjoyed tonight's presentation. If you did hit the like button. Now, if you're new, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow evening.